guitar case. What's up everybody, this is Retro Red. Welcome to another episode of Game Hunting Pickups. Uh, this week I... Well actually I bought a few things, but I mainly did uh, more trades um, for the for the week, which were really cool trades. Uh, can't wait to show you. Uh, but let me show you just some of the stuff I picked up that is kind of non-game related. Um, First of all, it's uh, I bought this little Star Wars bag. Probably nothing special or anything, just a little pencil bag, I believe. And I picked this up for 49 cents. I also picked up a uh, Eagles. Uh, it's a music cheat book, so that's pretty cool. And this came out when they were. I guess when their album first came out. I had seen a date somewhere here, 1976. So yeah, this is from 1976. Thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I am an Eagles fan. Um, and I'm sure everybody else is. That one main song, the Hotel California. Um, and I think that was it. Other than that, I did pick up a flashlight. Can never have too many whenever we go dumpster diving. I usually don't have, sometimes I don't have some with me, so I just decided to pick another one up and leave it in the car just in case I ever decide to just spontaneously stop, uh, spontaneously stop at a, at a dumpster or something. So I picked this one up for 49 cents as well, which is pretty cool. And now let's jump into, well actually I forgot to show these. I picked the uh, I picked these up at a Goodwill also. Guyver, I remember seeing the live action movie when I was little, and I I really liked it. So just kind of decided to pick this animes up. It has a volume one, two, and three, and I picked them up for two dollars each. Then um, I had stopped by a uh, pawn shop and I saw two games there that I saw some PS3 titles which I thought were pretty cool. A Budokai HD collection which includes Budokai 1 and Budokai 3. And I bought this one for like 7 bucks. Spider Man Edge of Time. I bought that one for 10 bucks. And I usually don't like paying 10 or not even the seven. I'm usually around the five, six dollar range for the PS3 titles. But I ended up buying those uh, with. I'm hoping they'll resell them. So hopefully, somebody out there really wants it and they'll buy it off me and I'll make me 
a dollar or two more. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> and another day, I had to stop by a uh, Kmart, and I usually like going to their clearance section just in case they have something, a game or or something. Um, and I ended up buying P two PS Vita cases. And they had these for 60 cents. So I really couldn't pass that up. I mean, I don't have any PS Vita games or anything, but, you know, I just bought them for... To throw in as extras, or... If anybody wants to trade, things like that. It's good to have. Just because I don't have any games doesn't mean somebody, uh, anybody else doesn't. And then, at a Goodwill... As you guys saw at the beginning of the video, did end up buying a GameCube system, complete in wires and everything. It has a little cheap uh, GameStop remote, but I do have extra remotes. Uh, it looks in really good condition. I haven't tried it out though, but it was only three dollars, so I'm not gonna complain. Even if it's even even if I pay just three dollars for the wires, it was worth it to me. But yeah, I mean, it's the original um, GameCube. So I need to try this out and hopefully it works. The little door, I tried it out already. The door opens fine, it doesn't get stuck. I know people usually have trouble with that, but this one seems to be in good condition. Uh, and that was actually it for my purchases. Not too many games. I did two trades uh, this past week. Uh, the first one, it was just an even trade, one game. Um, I got DuckTales. I am trying to get DuckTales too, but I've, I know that that's the pricier uh, game of the two. But hopefully later on I can pick it up at a good price. And I traded this one for Ninja Gaiden, which I thought because locally I've seen Ninja Gaiden a couple of times and this one I haven't seen at all so I know I can replace my Ninja Gaiden quickly and you know like I said I haven't seen this one before around here so decided to trade for this one uh, after that I did do another trade well it didn't start off as a trade a uh, guy on my Facebook posted that he had a Sega Saturn and a Sega CD game and we agreed uh, I was going to buy them for 20 bucks, both of them. <clears throat> so I stopped by at his house and he has a little shop there at his garage where he resells uh, games. So he's a reseller. And so I was surprised he was letting these go at you know, 10 bucks a piece. It's pretty good, decent pricing there. Uh, he usually overprices stuff, but you know those were a good, uh, a good deal. And uh, he asked me if I was looking for anything else, and of course I said I was, you know, usually Nintendo or, you know, anything, uh, Sega or Game, Game Boy games. Uh. And he, I started looking around, and he had a couple of uh, NES games that I didn't have in my collection, so I sort of just pulled them out, uh, Codename Viper, Quicks. And Galago. And once I picked those out, I asked him if he he did trades, and he just asked me to bring down my stuff, and he would take a look. And I had a couple extra uh, games that that I had doubles of, and uh, he started going through them. And he said he would trade, so we did an even trade uh, for the Sega Saturn, Sega CD, and the three. Uh, NES games, and then I picked out three Game Boy games. Dr. Franken. And I do have part two of this one, so I'm really happy that I have part one now. And that one does include the manual. The next one is Pyramids of Raw which includes the manual and 
centipede millipede, which also includes the manual. So he threw in those three, and then I saw Tom Mason's dinosaur for hire, dinosaurs for hire. And he also threw in a game genie for the Sega Genesis, which I think looks really cool. Like the little foil effect it has. So I did a, an even trade for all of that. Um, like I said, it was just a couple extra games I had. And then he asked me if I had a, a remote for my PS3. I, I don't know, do they, do they even have remotes? I'm not sure. Um, I said I didn't, so he, he gave me this one. Universal Remote Control Receiver for PS3. Never even heard of these. He said I could program any remote um, to work for with my PS3 with this. And he just threw in this as an extra, so that was pretty cool. Probably won't use it, so I might do a trade or just throw it in as an extra next time I do a trade with somebody. And uh, that was it, guys. Um, like I said, I didn't buy too much gaming stuff uh, at the Goodwills and things like that mainly doing trades which I enjoy more than actually buying because it means I don't have to spend more money but yeah so that was it for this week guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, please comment like and subscribe if you can just help me out and share the videos on your Facebook um, I am like I said I am putting a, a little box together of things uh, that I'm gonna give away for my when I reach 100 subscribers Right now I am close to 80, so I'm getting there. Uh, and I appreciate you guys uh, helping me out. So hopefully I can get it 100, and I will do a giveaway. So can't wait to do that. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.